Let us pray the angel Louis. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she is conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now when at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth, forth we beseech, beseech you, O Lord, Lord your, your grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of this resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal life, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, Enrich my poverty and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, May I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on your earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate St. Justin, a philosopher and lay apologist who defended the Catholic faith against those who questioned it, especially those who were not convinced of Jesus as the Savior. Justin was martyred for the sake of the faith. May we learn from his example 
to be faithful and persevering even in difficult times to proclaim the gospel and bearing witness to it by our own little martyrdoms every day. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught St. Justin the martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Jude. Beloved, remember the words spoken beforehand by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Build yourselves up in, the, in your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God and wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. On those who waver, have mercy, save others by snatching them out of the fire. On others, have mercy with fear, abhorring even the outer garment stained by the flesh. To the one who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you unblemished and exalted in the presence of his glory to the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority from ages past, now, and for ages to come. Amen. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts, like the earth parts lifeless and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet, shall my soul be satisf satisfied, and with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples returned once more to Jerusalem as he was walking in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the elders approached him and said to him, by what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin? They feared the crowd, for they all thought John really was a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. During the time of Jesus, in the temple, there were three categories of religious leaders, as mentioned today in the Gospel. They were the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. All these people have the responsibility of leading people to the faith to what they practiced that time as Judaism, the religion of the Jewish people. And so they questioned the authority of Jesus by asking him, by what authority are you doing these things? They did not accept Jesus as a Messiah because their hearts were hardened. Their minds and hearts were closed for they could not accept that a man from Nazareth 
who was considered to be the son of a carpenter, can preach the gospel and do miracles. And so they tried to discredit the authority of Jesus. They asked Jesus by what authority he was doing all those things. But Jesus did not reply them when they asked him by what authority. Why perhaps Jesus did not reply? Because Jesus wanted to instill in them that his authority is manifested in his actions, in what he, do, what he does, and in the fulfillment of the mission entrusted to him by the Father. So in other words, Jesus witnessed to God the Father. Jesus revealed to them who the Father is, who God is, and it is in his preaching, in his words, and above all, in his actions, that Jesus manifested his authority. How do we manifest authority? Many people have power. Diba? Yung mga elected officials natin, they are vested with power. But how many of them are respectable to us? How many of our leaders are respectable? Bakit natin iginagalang ang ating mga leader. First, we have to obey and respect our leaders because of the office entrusted to them. Pero kapag nakikita natin sila na hindi magandang halimbawa, for example, our elected officials, no? um, yung mga nasa public office, when they are corrupt, when they are corrupt and they do not live exemplary Christian lives, then their authority is also questioned. But in the case of Jesus, Jesus did not do anything wrong. He did many good things for the people. And yet, His authority was questioned. Pero sa ating panahon ngayon, maski yung mga taong hindi dapat ibinoboto, ibinoboto natin, no? Binoboto natin yung magnanakaw. Binoboto natin yung mga nagsisinungaling. Binoboto natin yung may mga extramarital affairs, for example, na hindi magandang halimbawa sa ating lipunan. So, how can, my dear brothers and sisters, we become people of authority if we ourselves are putting people who are questionable and doubtful in their public lives. So, it is our responsibility to evaluate. But, in the case of Jesus, Jesus did not do anything wrong, yet He was questioned. So, as I said a while ago, you can have the power to command. You can have the power to do this and to do that. But, perhaps, you do not have the authority because people do not respect you because you do not have the good example. Yet they fail to see the witness of your own life. They fail to see that you are doing things the proper way. And so, your authority is questioned. My dear brothers and sisters, let us refrain from judging people. But at the same time, when we see something wrong, let us not fail also to speak. Let us not fail to condemn what is not right. Marami sa atin ang tumatahimik na lang kapag may mga mali. Marami sa atin ayaw ituwid yung mga baluktot na bagay-bagay sa ating lipunan dahil ayaw natin makomplicate ang ating buhay. But that is not supposed to be because we are guardians of what is morally correct and we are examples of what it is to become a good disciple of Jesus. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, 
Let us obey our Lord Jesus. Let us listen to Him because His words are words of eternal life. Because His commandments lead us to eternal life. Because Jesus Himself is the way, the truth, and the life. And therefore, Jesus has full authority over us and everything around us. Let us listen to Jesus. And if we listen to Jesus, then we are assured of life eternal and salvation. Please all stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deed of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. Lord, let your power be upon us. Lord, let your power be upon us. That the church may continue to teach Christ everlasting truth with authority. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your power be upon us. That the hearts of our Lord Jesus leaders may not be hardened as they hear Christ's voice today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your power be upon us. That those considering the religious life may seek to follow the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your power be upon us. That our blameless and holy lives may cast away the unclean spirit of work in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. let your power be upon us. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your power be upon us. Father, all-powerful, we place before you our needs and pray confidently for your help and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily this mysterious which St. Justin strenuously defended through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Justin, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say... Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. Amen. Other days, many 
Please all stand. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita tu cedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules fili eve. A te suspiramos, gementes et plentes, in hac lacrima num vale. Ea ergo, ad pocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis, Pos hoc exilium ostende, O clemens, O pia, O dulcis, Virgo Maria. Ora pro nobis sancta Dei genetri, O dignitus amor promissionibus Christi. Oremus, omnipotens sempiterne Deus, qui gloriose virginis matris Mariae corpus et anima, o dignum fili tui habitaculum effici mererretu, Spiritus Sancto cooperante preparasti, da ut cuius commemorazione letamu, eius pia intercessione ab instantibus malis, et a morte perpetua liberemu, per undem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, pray for us. My dear brothers and sisters, we thank you for celebrating the fiesta of Our Lady of Piat yesterday. We thank all the people who help us prepare and let us continue to prepare for the coming feast of Apu Baket this July 2nd. And on behalf of the priests who are leaving the Basilica, I thank you for your support and by June 10, the Basilica will be under the care of the new pastor of Santo Domingo de Piat, Father Bernard Corpus and his companions. So let us support them and welcome them to the shrine of Apu Baket. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God.
please kneel. Prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over to him in me and calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. The no dearest Mother, you shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. 